Governor Roy Cooper chairs a group that's trying to help Democrats election chances in a controversial way by paying for ads that boost far right candidates in Republican primaries. State government reporter Paul Spay is here to explain. So, Paul, who is this group and why are they doing something like this? The group is the Democratic Governors Association, and our governor, Roy Cooper, is currently the chair. And this year, in a few Republican primaries, they've paid for ads that support some pretty conservative candidates. In Maryland, for example, the association spent about $1.2 million on a state legislator who disputed the results of the last presidential election. He even called Mike Pence a traitor. Maryland's own Republican governor has actually called him things like a whack job and a conspiracy theorist. Uh, but that candidate went on to win the GOP primary, and that's sort of the idea here. Cooper's group hopes to elevate the Republican they think would have the lowest chances of winning in the general election, which obviously helps their Democrats' chances. Well, now, how much does Governor Cooper actually have a say in this plan? We asked the group that. The DGA spokesman told us their spending strategy is informed by research and then approved by leadership, and that does include Cooper. And the DGA isn't alone in this. Other Democratic groups are doing it, too. And Republicans actually did it in North Carolina's U.S. Senate primary back in 2020. But still, Cooper's group has gotten some criticism, as you can see from the tweets behind me. This is a political professor, and there's a Republican there in the middle. And then over there on the right is a Democrat who suggested Cooper may not fully grasp the threats uh, these candidates pose to democracy. And what does Cooper have to say about all of this? We actually caught up with him the other day and asked him about it. Here's what he said. The DGA is investing on educating the public about issues that are concerning to them and that will be concerning to them in November election. Well, some people may hear this and think it's a bold strategy, but it'll be interesting to see if it'll pay off for Democrats in November. Paul, thanks.